Hello, good morning. This is Varnish with it and I'm here with the same idea that I shared with you in the last video about concentration. In the last video I discussed about two steps. The first step was you must make a clear idea or clear you must be very clear and particular about your goal. Set clear goals. And the second thing which which was important for concentration that was motivation is in inspiration because if you are having motives they inspire you now if we look at the present scenario we are surrounded in we find there are lots of disturbances whenever we are going to do something very important we are mostly confronting a situation like uh, there is a continuous uh, blaring of the horns of the vehicles there are continuously honking uh, cars and bikes and uh, there is a barking of the dogs outside and uh, there are some calling neighbors and the lots of disturbances disturbances are there so it becomes very very difficult to cope with such situation who is not familiar with such scenario just for, for example suppose you are going to do something very important you are going to complete a very important research paper or a project or you are just going to solve an important sum and you are just going to reach the solution suddenly the phone rings to your great annoyance you are not interested to pick the call but as you see that it is an important call you pick it and attend it by the time you and with your call and you put your phone down you realize that you forgot what the solution was and you are again ending like a confused lot so this situation this scenario is very common with everybody but there are solutions you can solve all these kind of problems you can sort out these disturbances so what you are suppose so, uh, suppose you are working in an office and you find that uh, your colleagues are continuously becoming an annoyance for you and you are not in a position to say no but you learn to say no you can even uh, put a sign on the door don't disturb and you can complete your targets it reminds me an eminent writer from the past uh, mr khushwan singh mr khushwan singh he he used to keep a sign board on the personal room door on the door of the personal room where it was written don't disturb even his family members were not allowed to come and meet him during these hours when he was not willing to be disturbed once uh, the prime minister he wanted to meet uh, khushwan singh mr manmohan singh wanted to go and meet so he had to take time so he was not able to get the time during these hours and when his hours were finished he said mr prime minister now your time is over you could leave so this state forwardness it can be beneficial for you when you know that what are your objectives and what you are want to what are you willing to achieve you need to be very clear where to say no and where to accept the things because if you are not clear with these things you can never achieve your targets and you can never fulfill your objectives and goals and you cannot concentrate on what you want to means disturbances are always there they are not going to change so you need to look at what is wrong with your work pattern or what is wrong with your habits you need to bring the corrective measures to change your habits and your work patterns if you don't change your work patterns and your habits nothing is going to change around you and you cannot find the time to focus and concentrate and to achieve your targets and goals so after talking about two steps that i discussed in the last video here the third step that is going to be important that i'm going to discuss about is that you must assess your perceptions yes we need to assess our perceptions because our brain is continuously observing the things there are images which are fed to the brain through our eyes so our senses our senses are always at work they never stop working so brain has to decide what is to accept or what is to reject as per your experience so whatever your experiences of life they are determiners of deciding what is acceptable or what is not acceptable so to understand this concept we can take uh, an example of uh, Uh, Rubin's Wars. It's a so-called Rubin's Wars. Uh, the picture is here on your uh, screen now. You can see it. So Rubin's Wars. When you look at it, it is just a white flower wars, and it is against the dark green background. When you look at it, you only see the white flower wars. But when you look a bit closer and uh, for a longer period, you realize that this is not just the contour of a 
white flower was actually on the outside means where there is a blend of dark and light there is a flower was is making the contour of two figures there are two pictures in the profile and if you look at them closer your brain start thinking if you are experienced you have an idea who they are you can recognize them actually on the left hand side you can see there is a profile of there is a contour of uh, queen elizabeth ii and on the opposite side there is prince philip her husband so our brain our brain is moving back and forth to understand what is to where to adjust the light profile or the dark profile so brain perceives and then decides what it is watching at what is it looking at so same thing is with you you have to assess the perceptions whatever you're looking at you have to decide what is important information for you and what is unimportant and important information would come to you through your experience when you widen the range and the gamut of your experiences you are surely going to make your assessment of the perceptions better and brain can assess them clearly after this the next step is the fourth step is you have to search for your name yes search for your name our perception constantly arrives to a conclusion deciding what it is looking at what it is willing to look at so this becomes very obvious uh, for example uh, you are attending a party you are in a party and there is a huge noise the music is uh, very high and uh, there is lots of uh, uh, confusion of the conversations going on people were talking continuously and you are hardly able to listen anything and suddenly in this whole confusion of noises you hear that your name is announced as soon as you you hear your name you pick your ear means you 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 focus on the sound where the sound is coming from where your name is announced and you can hear whatever is talked about you so how is happening means when the confu- when there was a confusion of noises you won't hear anything you were not able to hear but as soon as your name is there you are able to focus your brain can filter it can screen out your name from the noises so you need to understand that your brain can work on whatever you are interested in your name is most important for you 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 give importance to your name and you can focus on it because you know your name so same thing whatever you want to learn whenever you are concentrating whenever you are sitting for understanding any concept or any idea and you want to grab an idea you have to take an interest in it when the interest is developed you understand it as you are knowing your name you have interest in your name you are familiar with your name so you need to get familiar with the ideas when we get interested in the idea when we get familiarized with the idea it's easy for our brain to perceive it and then imbibe it and then ultimately to uh, keep it for ever so next thing is the fifth step is in the uh, on the way of becoming more particular about concentration and focus is filter to focus yes our brain has lots of filters like uh, for example uh, when the par- those who are parents they can well understand this idea and this concept means when the baby cries at night they immediately wake up either mother or father comes to know that the baby is crying but if there are drums beating or dogs are barking outside and there are also noises coming from the from the outside they they have a sound sleep and even then their alarm clock doesn't click off but but as a child cries they wake up so brain filters so this is means wherever brain is interested to focus that information only comes in so our conscious mind is always collecting the information but unconsciously we only filter that information which we are interested in scientists are, are still not able to understand how brain does this thing but it happens so you should understand how to focus means how to filter the information so that you can focus on it once you understand the concept of filtering the ideas you need to filter what is important or what is unimportant and only then you can be able to focus and concentrate and develop your concentration so 
take care of these things and these ideas and steps and you are surely going to have a better con concentration and better focusing ability to uh, grab the idea and to absorb the idea. Thank you very much. I'll be continuing with the same in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take a good care of yourself.